All right, let's see what the aftermath is. So far, what we can view from the outside is that we lost a body clip and the front lip is bent. Also, it looks like the rear wing is lifted up on the right and bowed out. Sorry, lifted up on the left, bowed out on the right. What we were able to recover from the crash site was the lipo alarms and little bracket. Lost a lipo alarm. Was able to recover the Max Amps 3 Amps, sorry, 3S, 2000 milliamp. Light bulb arm stayed intact. Pulled the curved mount from the GoPro, or well, along with the GoPro. Both GoPros were found. 3D printed mount seems to be holding up. Shocks seem fine. Front drive shaft seems fine. GPS stayed on the car. VHB held down the kill mode cat pack along with the XLX2. The RAM makes some really sticky stuff. I'm sure the fans have debris in them. Rear shock seems straight. Does seem to have split on the center brace. I'm not quite sure if that's how it is. In fact, no, it's. I'll have to further inspect that later. Chassis still seems straight, amazingly enough. seem tweaked and leaks seem fine Let's see if the fans still run these are server fans not designed to be in a moving capacity There's some debris in there. I can see it down there. Both fans are still kicking. Let's take a look at the data logs. Before the crash and during the crash. You can see where the battery is unplugged. So total ripple was 0.39 volts. Current only pulled 272 amps. Temps are 115 for the ESC and 106 for the motor. Car will run cool all day. Just gotta find a 
better spot to run. So we got front splitter, body clip, lipo alarm, and looks like the rear bracket up here that mounts the body. So the body post is split in the middle right here. Other than that, not seeing a whole lot of damage, surprisingly enough, for such a rough tumble.